Hi! In the previous videos, we discussed the need for the government to satisfy the requirements of the Fourth Amendment. But the government must also satisfy the requirements of statutes that apply to the cyber surveillance of U.S. citizens. One statute is the 1986 Electronic Communications Privacy Act. Although the statute is dated, it has been amended since 1986. But it could use a complete reboot. But it is still currently the law. The Electronic Communications Privacy Act has three sections. The Stored Communications Act, the Wiretap Act, and the Pen Register Act. The Stored Communications Act addresses the ability of government to force service providers to disclose your information. Information such as your email and cloud contents. The Stored Communications Act covers three areas. One, access to stored communications. Two, voluntary disclosure of stored communications by service providers. And three, law enforcement's ability to compel disclosure of your stored communications. The Stored Communication Act makes it a crime to access an individual's email without authorization. A fine and 10-year jail term are possible penalties. The Stored Communication Act also allows individuals to seek damages in a civil suit against the hackers of your data. Yes, you can sue the hackers for damages if they violate this statute. The violations of the Stored Communications Act specifically apply only to facilities which supply electronic communication services. So the hacking of your personal computer or smartphone is not covered under the Stored Communications Act. They do not satisfy the definition of being a facility. The Stored Communications Act restricts service providers from voluntarily disclosing communications content and consumer records. Let me repeat that. The Stored Communications Act restricts service providers from voluntarily disclosing communications content and consumer records. The service must be a provider of services to the public. The Stored Communications Act does not cover a service that is not provided to the public, such as a private internal corporate communications network. As with all cyber statutes, the Stored Communication Act contains a number of exceptions that allow the disclosure of an individual's information to the government. One, if law enforcement has a warrant for stored information that has been in a service provider's system for less than 180 days. A warrant is not needed if the information has been stored for more than 180 days. An administrative subpoena or a D order is all that is required if the data is older than 180 days. These do not require probable cause to be demonstrated as would be in a warrant much less demanding requirements if the information is older than 180 days. Two, consent by the individual. Three, for the protection of the service provider's business interests. Four, federally required reporting to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Five, information that pertains to the commission of a crime. Six, information that indicates the possibility of death or serious injury that is imminent. And seven, the use of a national security letter by the government. So there are a number of exceptions that can compel service providers to supply your information to the government. At the top of this video screen is a link to a video that discusses national security letters. You might be shocked when you find out what a national security letter is and how it can trample on your privacy rights. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.